Excuse me, do I know you? No, sorry. It's dead in here. Sorry? I said it's dead in here. Yeah. I was looking at you before. Staring, sorry. It's okay. It's your eyes. My eyes? Mm, yeah. Really nice. Have, uh, have you been stood up? No, I haven't been stood up. Right. You just look a bit down in the dumps, that's all. Yeah, well, there are plenty of reasons why someone could be down in the dumps. It doesn't mean they've been stood up. I've not been stood up neither. Really? Just in case you were thinking. I wasn't. I was out with my mate, see? And we met this nice pair of blokes. They both decided to cough off, so... I played the martyr and say, Yeah, you go on, I'm all right. That's why I'm in. Yeah, okay. Can I, uh, buy you a drink? If you're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, go on, I'll have a scotch, please. My name's Julie. Steve. You no, know, you've got the most gorgeous eyes. We're early. They'll be here soon, so what's the matter? No, no nothing's the matter. Hey. So did you get a buzz today? Yeah, it was good. Come on, it was better than good. You and me would make a great team. And I reckon we impressed a lot of people. Really? Yeah. Listen, Mike is the old face of Underworld. It's you and me, we're the future. I don't think you've got any idea how far you can go. If I stick close to you. Is that such a bad thing? So why have you gone killing on me all of a sudden? Because maybe I'm sick of playing games. Me too. Evening, Joe. Evening, Joe. Oh, here we go. How are you? Yeah, fellas. Hi. Listen, I'll get the drinks in. You're one behind. Remember, no one goes to bed sober tonight. You know, I'm glad my mates went off and left me. Really? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have met you otherwise, would I? You were. Uh, you will tell me if I'm being too forward, won't you? Oh, I'll uh, let you know. You know, uh, your eyes really are amazing. I could stare into them for hours. Are you married? Too forward. Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe just a tad. Well, your hard work, I'll say that for you. Not that I make a habit of picking up blokes in bars. So, are you? I'm a what? Married. Yeah, kind of. Show me the ring. See how easily that comes off. I'm married and all, but separated. Don't get out as often as I used to. No, no, me neither. Do you fancy me at all? It's just uh, a little bit too uh, forward there again. Well, you see, it's, uh, it's just it's my round next. Just wondering whether to buy you another drink, that's all. Or if you think I'm some kind of desperate dog throwing myself at the first fancy block, I see. No, I, uh, I don't think that. So, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll get the next round in, shall I? Should we not go through to the bar? Yeah, in a minute. I could get used to this. Eureka! What? This is the first real smile I've seen from you all day. Now, come on. Look me in the eye and tell me you've not had a good time. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. Do you want to know something? You look fantastic. Do I? <laughs> you know you do. Uh, well, you don't look so bad yourself. I think... What do you think? I think that it'd be a crying shame for a gorgeous woman like you to go to sleep alone tonight. Really? Really? What do you think? I think... I should go home. <laughs> you what? I should go home. Yeah, no, I heard you the first time. I can't stay, Joe. If I stay... Oh, I'm 
sorry. I'm gonna go home. You serious? We've still got business to do. No, so you can handle that. Look, you don't need me. Karen, we're in the middle of Wolverhampton. How are you gonna get home tonight? It's too late for a, a train. I'll get a bus or a taxi. Oh, a taxi home yeah. to Manchester. Yes. Apologies to the others. I can't believe you said that. Uh, I'll open a bottle of wine. Okay. Hey, it's uh, it's nice here. Yeah, it's all right. Well, I was planning on getting totally plastered anyway. Yeah, well, there's still plenty of time. Uh, aren't you? There was no one to get plastered with. Where's Vic when you need him? Who's Vic? Hmm. Doesn't matter. We, uh, we are all right here, aren't we? I mean, uh, no one's going to walk in on us or anything. No. No. No chance of that. Actually, do you want me to tell you something? What? Right now, my wife is in a hotel room in Wolverhampton with her boss. Oh, right. Mm hmm. Oh, you poor thing. Still, do you know what that makes me? What? Revenge. <laughs> um, I'm going to get a glass of water, do you want me? Mm, please. <laughs> Julie, get up. Come on, quick! Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to rush you. Yeah, well, uh, it's not the first time tonight, is it? What? Was it no good? Well, it was fine until you started your Sergeant Major routine. Right, like that's it. Up you get. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't expecting breakfast in bed, but talk about wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look, my wife is going to walk through that door any minute. Yeah, and you can still behave like a gentleman. Besides, uh, I like a bit of danger, me. I find it a right turn on. Julie. All right. Oh, I'm going. You can oh. order me a taxi. A taxi? <laughs> well, you don't expect me to walk home. Don't tell me you ain't got a number. I'm not phoning one of our cabs. Anyone might see. Here, I'll uh, give you a tenner for a taxi. I'm not taking your money off you. That really would be the final straw. It's, uh, it's not far. I'll walk. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll, um, I'll see you around. Yeah, um, I'll see you. What are you doing home? Nothing like a nice warm welcome. Well, I thought you said you had to stay overnight. That your job depended on it. Yeah, well, I thought that you might be pleased to see me. Fuss you made over me going in the first place. Well, I didn't stop you though, did it? Me making a fuss. Asking you not to put your job before our marriage. If my job was more important than my marriage, I wouldn't have spent over a hundred quid in a taxi ride home. You spent hundred quid on another taxi firm? Well, I could hardly phone streetcars, could I, and get Les to bring me all the way from Wolverhampton? Well, why didn't you get a train? I want to get home at two o'clock in the morning, Steve. What's the big rush? That's what I want to know. Because I wanted to come home. Well, I thought you said you couldn't come home. That you had clients to entertain. Yes, well, I wanted to be with you. Oh, yeah, likely story. Steve! 
Well, it's a bit suspicious, you've got to admit. First of all, you're desperate to go, and then you're desperate to come home again. Yeah, well, we had a brilliant day, we did loads of business, and I just didn't want to talk shop all night, all right? So what did Carter have to say about this? Well, he wanted me to stay, obviously. Well, you usually do what he says. No, I don't. Shall I tell you what I think's happened? Just told you what happened. I think you and Loverboy have had a row. Why else would you get in a cab in the middle of the night? I don't believe I'm hearing this. I know you were sharing a room. No, we weren't. I phoned the hotel. I asked to be put through to your room. Only there wasn't a room in the name of MacDonald. There was a room in the name of Carter, though. An executive double, probably. Yes, and there was a room under the name of Baldwin as well, which is where I was. You what? My room was booked in Mike's name. You liar. No, Steve, listen, Mike was meant to go, but he couldn't, so Joe asked me, therefore the rooms would be booked under Mike and Joe, wouldn't they? There's more to this than meets the eye. No, Steve, there isn't. We went out, we had a meal with clients, and then I wanted to come home to you. End of story. Oh, see, it is one thing having a go at me for stopping out, but having a go at me for coming home as well. I mean, that's just mad by even your flipping standards. <sighs> I just stayed in Wolverhampton. Oh, babe, don't say that. I'm glad you're back. Really? Got a funny way of showing it. Do you know, if you'd race down the motorway to be with me, then I'd be really chuffed. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, what do I get? Flaming Inquisition? It's not on, Steve. Well, it's not my fault. I can't get you and Carter out my head. Well, it's about time you did. Baby, if I'd slept with someone, then you'd know about it straight away. I'd be so disgusted with myself, I'd probably give myself away, and I couldn't do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you been doing tonight? Me, hey, nothing. Were you waiting when I rang? Well, I was in the bath. I, I, uh, I couldn't hear the phone. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? Because you're acting weird, eh? Mind you, what's new? <sighs> mm. Mm. Oh, I could do with a drink. Have we got any wine in, baby? Yeah, there's a bottle open. Oh. Hang on. Listen, uh, you've had a long day. Why don't you put your feet up? Mwah. Now that is more like it. No, we can't go on like this, Steve. Yeah, I know. Look, this is important. Listen to me. I am listening to you. There we go. One glass of wine. You know, you like Jekyll and Hyde. I don't know what you're going to be like from one minute to the next. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, look, I'm going to change, I promise. In the meantime, why don't I run your bath and we'll go to bed? You've got to trust me, Steve. Because if we can't trust each other, then we've got nothing. Who's been in this bed? No one. It's not my perfume that pillar stinks of. That's blonde hair, Steve. I am waiting for an explanation. Well, it's not what you think. No? No, of course not. Look, are, are you sure it's blonde hair? I mean, I'm, I'm not, not colorblind and I'm not stupid. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't know how it got there. Oh, try, Steve. Please try, because if you... Look, it might be a grey hair. <gasps> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being funny, oh, but I mean, it happens to us all. You slept with someone in our bed. No. <gasps> don't lie to me. It's written all over your face. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, cheated, cheated, cheated. It's a skull. <laughs> Sweet. Get up! Don't touch me. 
Because it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Mm. Why, well, you wouldn't answer your phone. All the way home, I'm thinking about you. Worrying about you. Well, you would... I don't know what to say. Well, start! By telling me who your mystery blonde is. You don't know her. Well, how do you know her? Mm. How long has this been going on? Well, there was nothing going on. <laughs> I only met her tonight. Uh, that's me, Rishi. Oh, look, it was a one-off. Uh, I regretted it as soon as it happened. I chucked her out. Did you know? Well, I felt really down. You saw the state I was in when you left this morning. Do me, this is my fault. I'm just trying to explain. No, you're not. You're trying to squirm out of it like the low life scum that you are. But I thought there was something going on between you and Joe. I still do. Don't you dare accuse me of doing something after what you've just done. Look, I'm just trying to explain. When I rang the hotel and there wasn't even a room in your name, I put two and two together. I made five. I was gutted. I've never felt so upset in my life. So you went out. You picked somebody up. You brought them back here and had sex in our bed. Look, I was upset. I was desperate. I thought me and you were finished. Well, we have now. Look, Karen, I'm not trying to excuse what I've done. No way. But I promise you. The only reason I the only reason I slept with somebody else is because I thought you were sleeping no! with- No! No! Have you heard yourself? You slept with someone to get back at me for something I hadn't done. Well, I didn't do this out of spite. It wasn't like that. Well, what was it like? Are you that pathetic? Because does our marriage mean nothing to you? Our marriage means everything to me. You mean everything oh, to me. you've got a funny way of showing it. Look, what I did was stupid. It was wrong. But I can make it up to you, I promise. No. Then, oh, damn. Where are you going? I don't want to be in the same room as you. Ka Karen! Karen, don't go. Where are you going to go? We need to talk. No. Look, I've been a lunatic lately. I know that. Like tonight. I'm going to go with me after what you've done. Look, I've told you I can change, and I mean it. Well then, tell me this. If I hadn't have found out, would you have told me? I wanted to. I was too ashamed. No, not in a million years. And all the time you would have been banging on about me and Joe. I know, right? I thought, Karen, uh, I know I've upset you. <laughs> But don't do anything drastic, please. I meant what I said. If we can't trust each other, then we've got nothing now, Kurt. Oh, my way. But you can trust me. It was a one off, no, I swear. Get out of my way. Look, she's crying. Big deal. I don't be like that. Come on, let's see if she's all right. <sighs> Karen? You're right, love? No. Uh, What's the matter? What would you care? I'll chime in. I've come over here to help you. I don't know why I bothered now. Sorry. Be had a row with Steve. Why don't you go back over, eh? Try and sort it out. He's right, Karen. You, you can't stay out here all night. I don't want to go back in the flat. Karen, listen. No, Jenny, stop finishing with him. I've left him for good. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>